We must put on that suit of armor. We must disconnect ourselves and stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the fear. And these battles that we must face has different stories connected to it. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives has many things that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all gonna face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. Life is beautiful. And you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can. If you're holding on to fear, disconnect it. That relationship that you are in right now may not be working out. Get your mind and your body in the right place. Work on you. Focus on your opportunities. You have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. This is what makes you unique. Press on and fight with everything you have. The grind is real. And everything that you do up to this point and beyond will depend on you. Are you a grinder? Are you determined? Are you willing? Will you go that extra mile? Will you put forth the effort that is necessary to get what it is you're seeking in your life? Be ready to grind, ladies and gentlemen. For every moment that you have been given is an opportunity to be greater than you was yesterday. For every opportunity that is given, you got to be willing to work a little bit harder. Be ready to go after it. How many of you have been in a competition where you pushed yourself and you worked so hard and you pushed everything you had within you and then you got so close to the finish line your legs gave up. You didn't have nothing else left in your legs. You couldn't run a little bit further. You couldn't pedal that bike a little bit faster because you had nothing else left. That's when the grinder must come out. That's when you got to dig a little bit deeper. That's when you got to go out there a little bit harder than you've ever done in your life. So you always find yourself starting off on the right path. You start off, you're feeling good, you're running, you're doing everything that you need to do. But it starts to get harder. Things starting to push you back. Life starts to push you back. People start to push you back. Everything around you starts to crumble. You have nothing else left to give. But then you got to find something else. You got to turn on that grind switch. You got to get down and dirty and nasty if you got to. You got to do what necessarily is gonna take for you to get what you want. You got to go out there with everything you got. For every moment that you have, this is the chance to do it. Just keep on grinding. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but keep on grinding. 
You're gonna have those bad days, but keep on grinding. You're gonna wanna quit, but keep on grinding. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important part of your life. It is a decision that you have to make within yourself. No one is responsible for that. The grinder, you, the individual, the person that you are inside will determine the outcome, whatever you're gonna do in your life. So you must continue to grind harder. You must continue to find a way and make a way out of no way. Don't wait for a handout. Don't wait for someone to tell you to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because it must be done. There are gonna be all kinds of challenges that we all must face. You cannot live in this world without a challenge. You cannot live in this world without a struggle. Because with every struggle that you have been through, it will help you to be stronger. But you cannot give up. Don't be afraid of the hard work. Don't be afraid to grind a little bit harder. Don't be afraid to sweat a little bit. It's okay, man. This ain't the time to be sitting up there feeling sorry. This ain't the time to be saying you don't have what it takes. So what do you think? You thought it was going to be easy? You thought you were going to be able to just walk in and walk out and say, hey, I'm the best of the best. You're not the best until you go through the test. You're not the best until you pass the test. So if you get some setbacks, embrace them. Sure, every day is not gonna be a good day for you. Every day is not gonna always happen for you. But it's always something happening. But you got to make it happen for the right reasons. For every day of your life, you must continue to believe in yourself. For every day of your life, you must have enough faith and understanding that it's up to you to make that difference count. So continue to grind. Grind with everything you got. Be strong every day of your life. No matter what comes your way, keep grinding. And keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. Rise up and stop being lazy. Stop being lazy on a day-to-day -day basis. Stop waking up with the wrong attitude. Lazy doesn't qualify. It doesn't give you the things that you really truly need in your life. It won't push you. It won't make you better. It'll just bring you down and make you weak. Why would you want to be lazy? It's all business, nothing personal. If you want it, go get it. Procrastination will assassinate your motivation. And without motivation, how can you reach your destination? I'm not a lazy person. I want to be stronger. I want to be the best of myself every day of my life. Are you that person that says, you don't like to get up in the morning? You know, you hear that a lot these days. I'm not a person that likes to get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I say this often. When that sun is on my face and not on my grave, it's a blessing. I don't need to be lazy. I need to be determined. I need to put in work. I got a job to do. I got responsibilities. And one thing you must understand when it comes to success, it's not waiting on you. It's not thinking about you. Yeah, there's gonna be some obstacles when it comes to success. 
but you got to continue down the path moving forward. It's not gonna be something that's gonna happen overnight, but even when you're tired, find a way to be strong. When you feel like you can't carry on, find a way to carry on. You're human, we're all human. And we have those days, but it's a blessed day. It's a good day, but it's not a day to be lazy. Put your lazy aside. Don't wait for someone to hand you something. Don't put it aside and say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, I'm not gonna do it right now. Tomorrow, I can take care of it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is good. I can do it tomorrow. No, you can do it now. Not tomorrow. Leave tomorrow alone. And stop letting lazy dictate your life. I don't agree with lazy. I preach it every day. If you want something out of life, you got to go after it. If you truly believe in yourself, then continue to believe in yourself. Have more faith in yourself and put lazy aside. Because it's not going to get you where you want in life. See, the thing about that thing want, we always talk about, you hear it every single day. If you want something, you got to do this. If you want something, you got to do that. We can want all we want to. But how much are you willing to give of yourself to get what you ultimately need? Lazy is not going to cut it. Lazy is not going to get you to that next level. Lazy is not going to get you that promotion on your job. Lazy is not going to help you to run a company. Lazy is not going to give you the opportunity to be a CEO. That's not how it works. Your best players are champions right now. Your best players are the ones that's making it right now. And the ones that are lazy, they're not going to get anything from it. So I need you to stay determined. I need you to stay driven. And I need you to give it 110% of everything you got. Be strong, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Don't be sorry. Just do better. Stop showing up for work late all the time. Stop being late for your success. Stop apologizing for the same mistakes over and over again when you know you've done wrong wake up and do right be accountable for your actions because actions speak louder than words stop depending on other people for you to do what's right having a pity party it's not something that you celebrate. Don't be the sorriest person walking on earth. Start being more an exceptional idea of why you exist in this world. Many mistakes will happen in your life. No one is perfect. But don't make sorry your cushion don't make sorry your teddy bear don't make sorry your place of escape because excuses is a manifestation of failure stop giving in to sorry stop letting sorry dictate you stop letting sorry tell you what to do you better realize that everybody is not going to accept your sorry. No one wants to hear it. Being sorry comes and goes. But every day doesn't have to be a sorry story about you. I'm sorry I'm late today. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry I didn't do this. I'm sorry I didn't do that. 
When are you gonna come back to the reality and just do what is necessary to carry on? Do better. Do better within yourself. Being better, it's a process in all itself. But sorry, just won't cut it. Stop pretending and start doing. Because no one owes you anything. This is a reality check. Stop making sorry your master. Stop making sorry your place of business. Sorry? What you sorry for? Are you sorry that you woke up this morning? Are you sorry that you didn't make the cut? Are you sorry you just didn't have what it took? Stop being sorry and start doing better. Better within you. Better than anyone has ever seen. Better than your mistakes. Better than your failures. Better than those that doubted you. Sorry? You're not sorry. You just need to do better. Better is what you should be seeking, not sorry. Sorry is not something you want in your life. Pity party? We are done with that. There is no celebration and sorry. There are no victories, and sorry. Sorry won't carry you over. Sorry won't pick you up. Sorry won't push you forward. Be better. Be better within yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all human beings and we do have to learn how to crawl before we can walk. We all have mountains that we must climb and each mountain that we climb has different circumstances, different avenues different experiences but yet we must continue up that mountain humility brings out the best in all of us it shows us who we truly are inside being humble doesn't mean that you are weak. It doesn't mean that you are afraid. It doesn't mean that you will not grow. Humility and being humble shows more strength than you can ever imagine. We must understand that we must humble ourselves before we can elevate ourselves. What good is a teacher if he or she is not willing to learn? Do we really have all the answers? Do we really have the mindset and what it takes to lead? Do we even have the mindset to follow? We question ourselves every day. What if? Or could we? Or I'm not ready. There is no shame in being humble. In fact, some of your best leaders had to learn before they can lead. Do not be blinded by arrogance. Do not be blinded as if you have all of the answers. 
This is how you grow. This is how you learn. This is how you build up. Humility. And being humble. It doesn't mean that it's over. That doesn't mean that you can't be a beast at what you do. It just means that you are learning. And when you are learning, you are growing. You are pursuing forward and not going back. Sure, there are going to be mistakes. Absolutely, you're going to fall down. Absolutely. You're gonna see yourself in a rut. But that doesn't mean that you stop. Have you ever been put in a position where you've been knocked down so hard that all you could do was humble yourself? Because there was a time when you thought you were so high up. You forgot how you got up. You forgot what it took to get to the top. And being at the top is not easy. Because there are going to be other things that are coming after you. So when you got knocked down, all you could do was humble yourself. But you didn't have to give up within yourself. But humility taught you it was your greatest teacher. It showed you that maybe you just don't have it all. Maybe you're not where you need to be right now. But sooner or later, you can get back up again. Do not forget how you started. Do not forget where you came from. But have the mental fortitude of where you're going.